What's good people, welcome to another episode of Concept Reese. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the ESBC Fighter announcement video that launched like, what, like two or three hours ago? Man, thank you, shout out to some of you guys that recommended that I check this out. I've heard of some good stuff on this, so let's get into this. Let's get into this. No messing around, straight in. Let's go. What's up everybody, I'm Todd Grisham in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Hey. I've never been to Rada. I've been Amsterdam though. Man's busy. Todd Grisham's busy in Europe. Is he? In, he's he's in Amsterdam. He's doing business over there. Okay, okay. I see you, Fernando Vargas. That's a good one. That's a good one. I give it that one. Michael Nunn. That's a throwback, man. Super middleweight champ, man. I remember Michael Nunn. A little bit before my time, obviously, but I remember him. What? Well, um, Mike McCallum. Go on, Jamaica. The Body Snatcher. That must be where, well, obviously, well, that's where Dillian White's got his name from, right? The Body Snatcher. Ooh, who you got, bro? Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Not bad. I'll tell you that. They didn't tell us about this. They did not let... Damn. Nine, nine new fighters? Who else we got? Hey. Mayor. I didn't. I seen him a little bit. I seen him a little bit back in the days. Oh, drunken master! Man, this guy was crazy. I remember him. Drunken master. I used to play with him on Fight Night Champion. Oh. Okay. Okay. We know what that means. All right. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We're going to talk about that in a minute. This is Boxing Club. Sounds good, bro. All right. We're going to go straight into the jugular with this one, people. All right. Um, firstly, before we get deep into it, some good names. There was no need to do no big show. What they did was right. I think this is the right approach. Some, yeah, some good names. I mean, like Fernando Vargas, big name. Um, Mike Nunn, Michael Nunn, sorry, big name. Mike McCallum, um, great, great fighters. Gr glad to see these guys in the game. But let's just get straight into what, what I want to talk about right now. These two guys right here. Floyd Mayweather Sr., Jeff Mayweather in esports boxing club that means a few things right so your boy did a video on floyd mayweather potentially being in esports boxing club i think that potential is turned into a, a more than a, what, what comes after potential you tell me whatever comes after potential that's what it is because having floyd mayweather and jeff mayweather in the game you now know for a fun fact that floyd mayweather knows what esbc is all about but I need to take you guys back a little bit. So one of the YouTube Duns, Fred Talks Fighting, said in his video that he did a video. I think it was Jeff Mayweather he did a video with. And in that video, he was talking about Floyd Mayweather. And the one thing that we got from that interview was the potential that Floyd Mayweather is way too expensive to be in a game like Esports Boxing Club. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe Jeff was because Jeff didn't even mention this. Jeff, just Jeff didn't even hint that it was in ESBC. He didn't say nothing. He just went, yeah, you know, might be in it, might not be in it. Played it proper cool. I think, I think Jeff, I think Jeff's hiding something. You know, I think Jeff knows something that, you know, I mean, we're not meant to know, but exciting. I'm glad to see Jeff in the game. Glad to see Floyd Mayweather in the game. I hope they take up a. Obviously, they're going to take up a a coaching role or a trainer role within the game it's a big name do you know what i mean like a lot of people within esbc who are 
on the fence or might have thought, you know what, I might wait and stuff like that, will probably want to play this game because they want to be trained by one of the Mayweathers. They want to be part of the Mayweather brand and, you know, say I, my, my fight is trained by one of the Mayweathers. It's a, it's a, it's, you know, it's, it's a profile. It's a, yeah, look at me. It's a look at me kind of uh, character, this one. <coughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about this. I think, um, like I said, huge name in terms of Jeff and Floyd. Some good uh, some good additions as well. Uh, I'm happy with Fernando Vargas. This is good. Like, I mean, I know that they're looking to replace the development updates. I hope that this is something that we get instead. I'm happy with this. Just getting an update from Todd Grisham him in amsterdam or him wherever else he is in the world just doing a quick little video talking to us about some new fighters some new mechanics i think that's a much better approach a much better approach it's a bit more personable it's a bit more exciting people can get hyped up for it as opposed to like your favorite youtuber reading from the notes and dissecting it i know how much deep down you guys love that but obviously it, this is hyped up for us and I'd rather take that personally. But that's, like I said, guys, this is, um, let's make sure my mic's all working, sorry. This is pretty exciting. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, Floyd Mayweather, I, I mean, we're inching closer now. That really did help our cause for getting, you know, a big, just getting Floyd in. I mean, if, if I was like, if I was a detective and I had to, work out who the next fight is in ESBC I'll be looking at this as a big clue I don't know what you guys think but that's what I'm thinking but let me know your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you'll be helping me out massively take care of yourselves guys peace